Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Charles Savannah. So I want to welcome you guys to another episode of the Dreamers Pro Show, where we cover everything from sports, hot topics, classic, to base entertainment, and we give you guys a fresh perspective on things. And now we see them. And today we got a hell of a show in store for you guys. Uh, but before we get into it, please make sure you like the video and sub to the channel. Also, we have a survey that we'd love for you guys to fill out. It's only about take about three to five minutes. We have that pinned in the comment below. Make sure you check it out. And also, you have an opportunity to win some Amazon gift cards. Let me get into this topic uh, here. So the news dropped recently, a few hours ago, that JJ. Well, we knew this prior that JJ Redick was going to be interviewing with the Lakers this weekend and the and it got it got basically um 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 validated that information got validated by them essentially saying that he did conduct the interview with the Lakers and you know now they're going to be going through whatever process they go through in order to you know decide who they're going to hire for their head coach uh head coaching position but anyway they did interview uh JJ Redick so I heard about that this morning so what happened I was watching an episode of Get Up um, and they were reacting to this news. And in the midst of them reacting to it, they then hearkened, hearkened back to some comments that Stephen A. Smith had made on ESPN. And it's funny enough, I saw it, but I didn't, I don't know what, I don't know why I didn't react. We didn't do a show about it. I was going to do it. I, just, I don't know why I ultimately forgot. But what essentially happened was the following. Stephen A. Smith was discussing the potential of the Lakers hiring J.J. Redick as their next head coach. And he was discussing the relationship between JJ Redick and LeBron James and them starting their podcast together while the season was ongoing. And Stephen A. Smith basically felt like what LeBron was doing was one of the most disrespectful things uh, an NBA player could ever do to a coach because while you're in the middle of a season, you're going through games, you play, you, you, have a, you actually have a coach, for you to now be on a podcast with another guy talking X's and O's and strategy, he feels like that was undermining uh, Darvin Ham based on all of the reports that were surrounding him in terms of the organization being fed up with him in terms of LeBron and these guys tuning him out. He felt that that was absolutely unfair to him. And when Stephen A. Smith was talking about it, he was essentially calling LeBron the most disrespectful a basketball player ever and he he did not mince words uh you know in his monologue so these are the comments that we want to focus on today but before we even get into what Stephen a smith uh, had to say here this video is brought to you by our sponsor game time game time makes getting nba finals tickets even faster and easier than ever before for example i am super excited about the games between the dallas mavericks and the boston celtics in the nba finals with game time tickets, I can easily pick the best tickets for me. I love that I can choose between different deals. I have the option to select the cheaper deal, the best option deal, or my favorite, the flash deal. The flash deal gives me the option to find discounts that I can only find on game time. Once I select the ticket I want, I can see view my seat. And it's not just restricted to the NBA. I can also look for the best ticket deals for other sports like football, baseball, or concerts, or comedy, or theater shows. Included in my purchase, I also have a 24-hour return guarantee, a lowest price guarantee, event cancellation protection. So take the guesswork out of buying NBA tickets with Game Time. Download the Game Time app, create an account, and use code CLNS for $20 off your first purchase. Again, create an account and redeem code CLNS for $20 off. And remember, whenever you support this sponsor, you're supporting this channel. Thank you. So what we would like to do now is we want to play exactly what Stephen A. Smith had to say here. Uh, about LeBron James, and then we're going to come back and react to his comments. Take a listen to what Stephen A. Smith had to say there. Stephen A., let me ask you this. How do you think the players in that locker room outside of LeBron James will respond to a first-time head coach? Well, I, it, it, it depends on the coach. I think a first-time head coach like Sam Cassell, this, they'll respond very well. I think an experienced coach like a Mark Jackson or a Jeff Van Gundy, they'll respond very well. I think J.J. is a different situation because of the situation LeBron James and his camp created by doing that podcast in the middle of the season, knowing that Darvin Ham was on a hot seat. I, I don't care what anybody says. That was a very egregious thing to do. I'm not talking about the podcast. Wendy knows I'm not doing this. Andrea, Wendy knows I'm not doing this. I'm not talking about the podcast itself. I'm talking about the timing. The Lakers get eliminated, and then LeBron James and J.J. do their podcast. It's no problem. This summer starts, they're doing their podcast. It's no problem. 
Darvin Ham was on the hot seat. And that's when LeBron James, in the middle of the season, decides to do a podcast with a brilliant cerebral basketball mind, and they're breaking down plays. They're talking plays. They're talking. Am I lying, Wendy? They're talking plays. They're talking schemes. They're talking strategies. They're talking all of these things. I say what? You never seen what before, Wendy? I've never, never seen what before. I, I've never seen. I mean, this is a new thing I've ever never done in the NBA. What you're talking about this podcast? Never, yes. never seen anything like it. That's right. But and Wendy, and, and I props agree. to them because it was got... it was it was Maverick oh, okay. it was Mavericks Carter it was Mavericks Carter it was Mavericks Carter idea he brought it to LeBron James according to what my sources tell me it wasn't LeBron James but damn it LeBron James is his own man you're wearing a Lakers uniform you are a player you know your coach is on the hot seat and deciding to do a podcast about games about basketball with specifics in mind schemes and 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 how you coach and how you draw plays up and what you should be doing how you strategize, et cetera, et cetera. While your coach is on a hot seat and you knew the Lakers would all more than likely be looking for a coach next season is one of the most egregious things we have okay. seen a basketball player do to a coach. So you heard what Stephen A. Smith had to say. What are my thoughts on this? Well, a lot of people out there believe that Darvin Ham got a raw deal from the Lakers. Um, could this be taken as a form of disrespect? Yes. Now, some people could say, no, I mean, I don't see the big deal, right? What's, what's the big deal? They're just doing a show together. I think the issue becomes what LeBron did or was doing or is doing with JJ Reddick on the podcast while having Darvin Ham, but also the way LeBron was treating Darvin Ham publicly. That's where it gives Stephen A. Smith's words more, 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 more weight, more gravitas. If you look at the way LeBron would openly disrespect his coach, that was problematic. Like the time he refused to call the challenge and he basically barked on his head coach on live. I had never seen, literally, I had never seen a star player at the caliber of of, a, of the caliber of, the, of a LeBron James treat their head coach like that publicly. I had never seen. And in that moment, it made all the rumors a reality, which was LeBron has zero respect for Darvin Ham. But to call him out in such a public way was pretty, pretty damning. And it was an indictment. And also the fact that he didn't defend his coach. Right, I thought that um, that was a very bad look. I was stunned watching that live on it. Like, did he just do that to his coach? So for Stephen A. Smith to say that LeBron is the most disrespectful player ever, essentially, by what he's doing, I can understand where he's coming from. There's also the issue that Stephen A. Smith has had with LeBron, which is he doesn't he doesn't feel like LeBron does anything to defend his coaches. He's not the only one that said that. Uh, 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 what's his name? Um, uh, uh, Skip Bayless has said that as well. And Skip Bayless has used the example of LeBron has never stood up for a coach where Jordan actually basically said, I'm not going to play anymore if you're not going to bring back Phil Jackson. That's how much he believed in his coach. Now, some people say, well, LeBron has never had a Phil Jackson. You're right, but he did have an Eric, but he did have an Eric Spolstra. He did have an Eric Spolstra. And then some people will say, well, the time he had Eric Spolstra, when he first got it, he had never won anything. He was, he was a guy that was, you know, a film guy. And I would respond to those people by saying, when Michael Jordan got Phil Jackson, he was an assistant head coach. He had never won anything as well. He just trusted him before it was Doug Collins. And then he got Phil Jackson, but he gave him a chance. They want to, the thing about people when they criticize Jordan, like, well, he never had Phil Jackson. Phil Jackson never won anything before he met, y'all are acting like MJ had 15 rings before he met, I mean, Phil Jackson had like 15 rings before he met Michael Jordan. They were both ringless. They won together. Hello, is this on, to quote the great Rob Parker? They won the championships together. So to say that, oh, LeBron never had a Phil, what are you talking about? Uh, uh, Jordan at the time had Phil as an assistant head coach that was promoted to the head coach. And then they won together by trusting Phil Jackson in the triangle offense with all of the with all of the precincts that um, 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 the tenants that, uh, that um, Tex Winner had put into it. So, look, he had it at Eric Spolstra. And Eric Spolstra now is regarded as one of the three best coaches in the entire NBA, Eric Spolstra is. So, look, uh, Stephen A. Smith 
has made it his business these last few weeks now to basically call out LeBron whenever he feels he's doing something that he doesn't agree with. So those are our thoughts on it. What I want to know from you guys, what do you think about our analysis? What do you think about Stephen A. Smith's comments? Whatever you guys think, please leave your thoughts and comments in the comment section and we catch you guys on the next show. Peace.